Hello ladies and gentlemen, happy new year and welcome to our first edition of Meta Human Updates in 2022. A couple of customers had some questions regarding how to use the Meta Humans with our products. I'm gonna first showcase you how you can merge these together and next we're gonna jump in the character editor and take a look at the latest updates on medieval NPC, medieval armor and heavy armor. All right, let's start first. You're going to import your meta human via bridge. Very important is here that you're going to stick to the tall normal weight base body in the meta human creator. Once you created your meta human, you can export this directly via the export button in the engine. I already did it here in medieval armor. We are here on the overview map where you can see all the different skeleton meshes, chest pieces, hats, gloves, pants, shoes and the weapons. But let, let's take a fresh level. And when you import it, your meta human via bridge, you're gonna get here the meta human subfolder. In this folder, you're gonna have here a skeleton, meta human base skeleton. In our animation folder is as well the meta human base skeleton. You can decide now either way if you're gonna delete ours and replace it with the meta human one or the other way around. I would recommend that you're gonna decide based on your project what you're gonna do because it has implications and which part of the blueprints you're gonna stick through. So in this example I'm just gonna remove here the meta human base skeleton and replace it with our meta human base skeleton. Replace reference. As mentioned it's also the other way around is working. He's gonna updating all these assets. Okay, let's take a look. This is a water which we exported via bridge. He is now here in the scene. Oh, let's put him into sequencer. It's gonna add a new sequence. Here we go. And I'm gonna drag and drop the blueprint. Okay, now here's water. Okay. Let's pull over the details panel. This is the default meta human blueprint, which comes with all the necessary features, with a groom and all these kind of things. So if you go in here, for example, you're gonna have in the torso slot and all the other um, sub slots, each skeleton mesh. For example, if I would now simply go here for chest knight 01A, this is gonna happen. And this is pretty clear because our products are based on the UE4 mannequin per default. The meta human update is just for free. And if you go here to the browse button, you're gonna see, you come now here to the folder of the meshes. But the meta human meshes and the meta human tall subfolder. You can also check this if you open the skeleton mesh in the details panel, you can go to skeleton. And as you can see here, let's go to bones or hierarchy. As you can see, that's the default UE4 mannequin. Okay, so how to fix this? It's pretty easy. You have to put the right skeleton mesh in the slot. Okay, let's go here into meta human tall chest. Gonna use the uh, meta tall normal weight chest. All items are also named accordingly. And if you're gonna plug it in, it's gonna work. The only thing which not, is not updating right now is the material. So you can easily go in here, clear that one and voila. Here's the night chest 01A. And you can also drop in here all the other chest material instances with different tints and all these kind of things. However, it fits your need. And you can also change here all the tint channels and the parameters. Okay, but let's keep it for now with this one. Same applies here for the trousers. You're gonna go here into Meta Humans Tall. And then you have it here in the boots folder. Let's take a night pant. Put this one in, clear it up. And for sure, we also need some shoes. The boots, select the feet, put it in and clear. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this guy. Let's go here, for example, to showcase you that everything is skinned. So the meta human control rig. 
you can here raise the arms as well shoulders hands and everything um, is gonna work as you can see here and then you can also make all your adjustments um, accordingly but this is all gonna work now same here let's place the feet voila yeah this is just um, about the question how to integrate and merge these together it's up to you and it depends a lot on, of your project needs if you want to use it for real-time content or for cinematics okay let's take a look at what we changed on all our costumes we are here now in character editor this is um, one of our core products and let's take a look which costumes we ported over okay i'm gonna swap over to the meta human and let's go to medieval npc i just gonna hit the randomize apparel button right now that we're gonna run a little bit through all, all of these a few villagers with different pieces some citizens some rich ones some poor ones and you can also as mentioned before um, you can always change these materials with different tint colors and all these kind of things also we have also pants so the ladies does not always show with naked feet okay yeah smith citizens villagers and for the males medieval npc is now completely meta human normal weight compatible let's put some pants in and maybe he gets also some gloves these ones he was different tint variations as well all these material instances are in the project and you can adjust them uh, short feet or boots yeah let's go with some boots different hats the groom component does not show up here right now in the character editor we're going to update this with the uh, release of unreal engine 5 to support also the groom components but we don't have it in right now in our default character editor setup different chess pieces some monks as well with different color variations some villagers farmers and we added the blacksmith here as well okay same applies now for medieval armor i updated also all the meshes removed some stick screws for the skin parts here again some material variations on these guys put some it's a little bit brighter the mercenaries oh put some feet voila Yeah, and the cloth is sometimes here um, sticking. But this is just for the default pose. Yeah, so medieval armor, also randomized apparels, everything is working together. Different hats, gloves. Make sure to uh, take a look at our blueprint, uh, update morph target function if you want to integrate this in your meta human blueprint also very important because the chess pieces they are um, gonna update the morph targets space if a glove is equipped or not okay and heavy armor is also ported over a little bit more light daylight yeah with different types of uh, some sort of paladins we call them the falconeers, death knights, some more dark armor. Yeah, this is also done. Update is light. So if you're going to get latest, you should get this folder with the meta human tall ones. And I also started uh, integrating the um, fantasy armor casters. These guys are also 
now on the way. They are based now on the normal weight um, base body, which is a little bit wide in the hip area. So I'm not sure or decided yet if we should stick to the normal weight one for these guys or if we port them over to the uh, thin version to get a little bit more like a mage caster appeal for these kind of guys. Something we have to um, decide in the near future. You guys can also leave us a comment. I'm gonna open a pool. A vote is also here, very important for us. Um, this would help us a lot to gain also um, yeah, the customer side for these things. Yeah, and same as well for, whoop, for the cultist. I also made the first pass. These guys, the bad guys. And I also made for the lady the first mage one. Okay, that's it from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction. Feel free to always leave us a comment. Give us your notes, what you think about it, what you like to see in the future. And I'm very happy and looking forward to working together with you on these updates. Next one will be Fantasy Armor and Cultist. Okay, I'm gonna wish you a great day and hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao.